last weekend, Hudsonville native Jordan Schimmel, the former U.S. National Golden Gloves amateur champion, adding a professional U.S. title belt to his resume. Jordan with a dominant 10-round unanimous decision over Galen Brown at the Delta Plex with the USBO, that's the United States Boxing Organization Cruiserweight Championship online. There's a look at the belt, which is now home in Hudsonville, and Jordan Schimmel kind enough to join us again here on Sports Overtime. And first of all, congratulations. I know it's not your ultimate goal, but it's a it's a it's a national title at the pro ranks. Yeah, definitely very excited to uh, have the opportunity to fight for this belt. Um, like you said, it's a, a good stepping stone and um, not my ultimate goal, but uh, it was my current goal and uh, yeah. met that goal. So uh, continue to reach forward uh, to be uh, someday's champion of the world. So uh, but like I said, it's a good stepping stone and getting me ready for that and uh, get some recognition out of the belt. So, Up against Galen Brown, some uncharted territory there going the distance in the fight. How much does training, mental psyche come into play there when it's a place you really haven't been before? Oh, just, uh, you know, it, it's a big part of it. But being uh, prepared as I was for the fight, I wasn't worried about it at any point. Um, I, was, I was prepared and ready to go all 10 rounds if, if need be. And, and, uh, Galen turned out to be a, a tough fighter and a tough opponent, um, able to take a good shot. I gave him all I could. He stood and he won't go down, but I uh, made a good good show for the fans, and uh, I think everyone enjoyed themselves. But uh, I was I was in shape and ready to go and was able to and, and did go all 10 rounds. So um, ensured myself I can do that and now know I'm uh, capable of doing that. And, uh, you know, it need be in a future fight, and I, I know I can and I, and I will. We mentioned unanimous decision. I think it was like 10 rounds, 10-0, 10-0, 8-2. So, I mean, it was pretty much unanimous uh, for every single round. Uh, you came out pretty unscathed for going that distance. Didn't take a lot of shots. Uh, obviously, you caught, and that was a headbutt, right? Uh, the cut above the eye healed yeah, up. Uh, well. early, uh, early in the fight, I think it was the fourth round, I, I got a headbutt, uh, which uh, I sustained a little cut above my eye and had to get stitches uh, from one of my sponsors, actually. So it was nice having uh, you know, him, him, in the, him in the crowd there watching for the fight. And uh, you know, I, I appreciate Appreciate all the help I get from my sponsors. So it's uh, good to have them on my, on my team, Team Schimmel. And, uh, you know, um, I healed up. I'm feeling good. And other than that, uh, there wasn't any big bumps or bruises from the fight. So, You've only been a professional now for about a year and a half. And yet you've risen pretty quickly, 12-0. Is this, I mean, did you expect to, to come up this fast? Uh, I, I guess I can't say I expected it. Um, it was kind of part of the plan. I, I was hoping, uh, very hopeful that that would happen. Um, and we, we're kind of playing it, you know, day by day, but everything, everything's playing out well and uh, going right on the course as to what we were hoping it would. Uh, so uh, just keep, like I said, keep going day by day, plugging and punching. Uh, hopefully keep winning these fights and open up the doors for future bouts, uh, televised fights, and continue to grow um, have, as my career grows. So that's the plan, and we'll see what, where it takes me. Yeah, obviously a little bit different for, for every fighter, I guess, in every situation, Jordan, but consensus seems to be you need to get to that 16 to 18 range of being unbeaten, and if you can do that with some of the different kind of guys you face, that that's when somebody may say, all right, now we'll give this kid a chance at something you know, bigger that you're shooting for, right? Is that about the range? Yeah, that's, that's kind of the consensus, and that's kind of what we figured would, would be... Uh, the number we were hoping, uh, you know, we're right where I wanted to be. You know, obviously I'd love to be 12 and 0 with 12 knockouts, 12 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Can't complain with that. Uh, pretty good record. So um, as long as I stay, like you said, unbeaten, um, we'll continue moving forward and we'll get that televised fight, that that title shot, um, you know, that world title shot coming up here shortly. Um, you know, and just you know, as long as I stay in shape, keep winning these fights, and continue doing what I'm doing, uh, it's here in the near future. So just waiting patiently. So with those televised fights out in the future and then getting this USBO title fight kind of just in the distant past. What is this time being filled with right now, this last week, weeks to come? Oh, but this last week it was just enjoying the belt, enjoying uh, the win and uh, uh, celebrating with friends and family um, and all the fans. So uh, there was a, a great turnout there at the Delta Plex and hope everyone enjoyed it and comes back out. Uh, I'm hoping to do something again locally um, here in the near future. So. Um, We'll just keep training, staying in shape, and uh, preparing for something uh, here in the near future. But um, just like you said, just keep going with it, and uh, you know, see what see what the future holds. But uh, there's nothing scheduled, planned yet, no set in stone. But. Um, you know, I'll stay ready for th for that call, the next fight, and whatever it might be, I'll be ready. Right, boxing fans are, uh, know pretty well, but for for the other folks, fourth ranked fourth in the United States now amongst the big boys, and 40th in the world. Which, and we were talking earlier with six billion people. If you're 40th of anything in the world, you're doing pretty well. Uh, what do those rankings mean to you, or don't they? Oh no, they mean they mean a lot. It's uh, it's good to see that I'm getting recognition for the all the hard work I'm put in for the 
for the fights. Um, the title obviously bumped me up and got me some ranking points and moved me up, like you said, four in the U.S., uh, which is great. So um, I was hoping and planning that uh, to be the outcome, uh, beating Galen Brown as he was number five in the U.S. before beating him. So, um, you know, just, you know, I, I knew I had my work cut out for me and uh, having a, a good opponent in front of me um, is, you know, it's going to continue to move my career and moving me up in the rankings and, like I said, get that, that bigger fight in the near future. This is your first professional fight at, at cruiserweight. How difficult is it maybe shifting between heavyweight, cruiserweight between these fights? Um, my first 11 fights were all at heavyweight, like you said, but this one, my first being at cruiser, uh, you know, I, I felt more natural. Everything, uh, my, it's my natural weight and I'm very, uh, really, I, f I feel great there. It's, I don't have to cut too much. Um, Got to work out and contain, uh, maintain my weight where it's at. But uh, it's, it's not a big deal to jump back and forth. And if need be, I'll, I'll fight heavyweight again. Well, we appreciate you coming in. And speaking of weight, this thing is heavier than it looks. Yeah, it is, isn't <laughs> so it? Try picking it up. Yeah, yeah. Still waiting on the nickname for Jordan <laughs> Schimmel. Maybe next time we have you in studio, you'll have a nickname. We'll get something for you guys. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Hey, congrats on that, too. Thank you.